the North East, but he's proud to be in Blackpool today. Can you give a big round of applause to Kevin Miles? A big Blackpool welcome. The whole of entertainment. Jesus Christ was born in this town. Thanks, Andy. I can only repeat what Ian said, that it's a privilege to be here today in front of people who embody what football is all about. And I want to bring a message of support from football fans from the half a million members of the Football Supporters Federation up and down the country and pay tribute to the stand that you've made all season, unflinching and unbowing in support of what you know is your football club and defending it against somebody who wants to exploit your loyalty and your dedication for his own ends. You've been an example to football fans up and down the country. And we would, we would stand in solidarity with you as we have with all of the other clubs who face similar battles. The fans of Blackburn, the fans from Coventry, the fans obviously from Orient. I could go on and on. And it reminds me of, because I'm a well-read person, of a phrase by Oscar Wilde who said, to lose one parent is unfortunate, to lose two is careless. If you can do, extend that metaphor a little bit. To have one club in a situation like Blackpool is, is absolutely disgraceful and tragic. But when you've got four, five, six and more clubs up and down the country facing the same sort of crisis, at war with their own fan base, then that's not careless, that's a downright disgrace. And it's something that the football authorities need to say is not an accident, it's not on a one-off occurrence, it's not a problem for one fan base, it's a problem for the game as a whole. And if the Football League and the Football Association want to take, maintain their place as the custodians of, this, of the game, they've got to step up to the plate and act on behalf of the people who really uh, own football. The supporters who pay through the gate, who fund the whole jamboree week in and week out. Without football supporters, professional football would be absolutely nothing. Now, I'm, I'm here today on behalf of the Football Supporters Federation, but I'm also a fan. I'm a fan of Newcastle United. You wouldn't tell from looking at me. I'm not wearing colours. And that's because I won't wear a shirt with Wonga on the front. And that's because I know, like you do, I know what's right and I know what's wrong when it comes to football. And we know that instinctively. And we don't forget it. We don't change our allegiance. We don't change our principles and we fight for what we know is right and what we know is important. We, football club owners come and go. Players come and go, even managers come and go. But the one constant that remains in a football club is the fans. From the day you make your allegiance to your football club till the day you die, that football club, that spirit of football is in your blood and that's where we belong. And I'll stress that, owners come, but owners also go. They go when they know they're not wanted. They go when they know that they're not acting in the interest of the club because a club is not a plaything of an owner. The club belongs to a community. It belongs to the fan base. It belongs to us all. We are the rightful owners of the heart and soul of football and anybody else who acts in counter to that spirit does not belong in our game. They should take the subtle hint that they've been given here and get out of our game. Now the, the last thing I'll say is that you know as well as I do as football fans that part of what brings the excitement of football, part of what we love about it is the rivalry, it's the tribalism, it's loving our lot and hating that lot, it's that spirit of competition. But I am immensely proud that people in here have demonstrated that we also recognise there are things in football that go beyond that rivalry. 
There are things where we have more in common with a fan from another club than we do with the owners of anybody. And that sort of solidarity is what the Football Supporters Federation is all about. We're your Football Supporters Federation. We stand shoulder to shoulder with you in every club in crisis, every club at war with its fan base. You know whose side we're on. We're on the side of right, we're on the side of football, we're on the side of the fans. And we will not give up our fight until the voice of fans is heard at every level of the game, is understood, and we make the decisions that matter in the game. The parasites need to go, it's our game.